All right, we're back again, and uh, this time we got a nice little treat today. We got uh, some Sub-Zero bags, so we're uh, we're super excited to get our hands on these and play, and we're pretty excited to talk to you guys about them. Yeah, this video really isn't going to be a comparison video because these bags are really not the yeah. same. They're two of the most popular Sub-Zero bags, and we wanted to get our hands on them, try them out, and uh, we'll tell you what we thought about them. So right out of the gate at the Tempest, I threw those bags awesome as soon as I got them. The winter tides, it was a little different. For some reason, I struggled to throw them at first, but you know, I kind of powered through it. I, I told myself it's it's got to be a good bag. They're popular, you know. Let, let let's work this out. So I kept throwing it, throwing it, throwing, it, and I really, you know, came to like the bags. Yeah, I I like them both right out of the gate. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're used to this carpet too, because you like I the do the you sauce. like the buffalo sauce. Yep, yeah, that's so that's right in your wheelhouse. For yeah, sure. I'm a big non-carpet bag fan too, and there hasn't been a lot of good. Of, Good drops in that, you know, non-carpet category. Everybody's focused on the carpet. So um, when Craig told me, you know, got the Tempest, I was super excited. And uh, we'll talk more, but they didn't disappoint. So we're going to jump right into designs on these bags. And we scored them uh, two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, the Tempest, you know, I like I'm patriotic, so I like the American flags. But, yeah. you know, he was saying earlier, he's like, skulls are a little over Yeah, they're, they're right just... Now. We're a little tired of them, you know. We, I mean, they're cool, but you see them everywhere and stuff. And so two and a half, you know, the the winter tides, or yeah, the winter tides, I would normally give that just a two, though, just because it's just basic company logo. Or the lights is cool, but nothing nothing unique. Yeah, and I will say unique about the company, though, too, is when you go to his website, like uh, his design, you can get all his bags in that design. Right, yeah, I do like that. And then some of them are only like the carpet bag specifics. They don't. They wouldn't transfer over to right. Tempest. Which I kind of thought that was pretty neat. You know, yeah. at least he's you know putting them on anything you want, really. Right. Yep, yep. To touch on availability, they're available on the website, but I believe these are made to order. There's actually a big thing up at the top of the website that says you know seven to ten business days or whatever for shipment. But I think the most recent ones we bought, the Winter Tides, they came sooner they than came that, quick. right? They Yeah. They, you know, I, I got shipping information and it had a date and I got them like a week before that original date. Like I came home and they were there and it kind of surprised me. So. Well, there you go. He must just be covering his butt or something, you yeah. know, in case yeah. he, you know, gets an influx of orders or something and has to sew them all up. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so you might have to be a little bit patient, but, you know, we didn't have to, so. Yeah. To get a, a little more about the company, we should have mentioned earlier in the video, but it was really cool to see. You know, they have these cards made up to kind of thank you for making the purchase and stuff. But they take the time to write your name on it and everything, which was unique. I haven't gotten anything like that from any other company. So, nice little touch. It makes you feel special. It all does. Warm and yeah. fuzzy inside. Yeah, I got something. bags early with a, you know, with a card. <laughs> it was a good day. <laughs> you know, getting on how we scored the cost on these. Um, really just a two-bagger. Close to a two-and-a-half bag. It's like right there, you know, because they're under 100, which we like. Barely. Barely. Yeah, they, they were right there, and uh, we did pay for his break-in, which is an extra five bucks. Yeah, but that's it, absolutely five right. bucks well worth spent. Absolutely. Which, yeah. we'll, we'll tell you about that later. That's yep. You're going to want to add that five dollars. And it's only five dollars. Right. I mean, that's the cheapest pro break-in I've seen, right? Yep. Yep. Some other companies are charging 15 so. Yeah, yep. Talk about this company a little bit, Sub-Zero. So this is a really cool story, uh, I and I'm sure – that this is still one guy working in his garage making all these bags with ACL stamp, with pros, you know, that he's endorsing that are out there throwing. And if you don't know, one of the old OG bag reviewers on YouTube and Facebook and all that was called Eddie. And I guess he, he assumed, you know, I looked at all these bags. Well, I could do that better. So he started selling bags on his own and then grew this company like that. And there's a lot to say about that. I mean, a yeah. guy that's oh, yeah. played with and reviewed that many bags is now making his own. Right. But he's he's got to know some tricks or, you know, he's got to know a good fill for a bag. And then uh, the, the other cool thing is, like, none of his bags are the same. They're all hand-sewn. So it's not like a CNC where, you know, every series you buy is going to be the same size. Like, literally, these are hand-sewn, and they're all different shapes and sizes and yeah. fills yeah. and flops and – it's like he's perfecting the bag for the materials almost. Makes sense. Oh, of course, I do have a website, subzerobagco.com. And it's a great website. It is. It's not bad. It's yeah. really not bad at all. Um, it, it has pictures of the actual bags, which, right. you know, we're starting to – I like that. It's yeah, not just like the design fans, yeah. are, you know, so he's taking the time. And it's not just, you know, here's the front side. Like he's got the front and the back yeah. of all four bags of a series or whatever. It's pretty cool. Yep. Very active on Facebook as well. They have their official page, Sub-Zero Bag Co. And then there's a fan page uh, for Sub-Zero, which is Sub-Zero Bag Co. 
fan page. Yep. So it's a tongue twister. A lot of stuff you're a fan. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it's a little tongue twister, but uh, a, lot, a lot of availability as far as visibility to the company. Right. Very active on social media, too. Yep. And uh, the fan group, I mean, there's a lot of good help in there. Mm-hmm. A lot of loyal customers. If you have any questions about the bags, Hop on there, ask them. Maybe Eddie will chime in himself. Break-in method on these bags, we paid the $5 for each bag. Yep. For Eddie to break them in, or Sub-Zero to break them in. And, <laughs> I mean, well, well spent money. Absolutely. Yeah, th- these things, you could have took them out of the package, you know, out of your mailbox, out of the package, and wouldn't want a tournament with them. Yeah. They're, they're, they come completely ready to play. Yeah, I don't know exactly what he does, and you know. I we, wish I knew exactly what he does. I don't think he will tell anybody either. Probably I think not, he's kind of keeping this like a secret too. But Eddie, come on. Yeah, I mean, we, we we've paid for other bag break ins, <laughs> and I've gotten some to where I'm like, did they forget? You know. <laughs> but these, uh, as soon as you take them out of the package, you're like, where are my board slips? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So super cool. If you get these, just pay the five bucks, do yourself a favor, and, and help out the company. So that that added to a smile. He had the bags. He had the handwritten. I know they were ready and to go. The bags were ready yeah. to play too. Yep. He was so, a happy guy. That it was day. a great day. <laughs> get into the speeds on these. Winter tides are your your nine fives. And the Tempest are rated at nine six. I don't think they were six. Uh, at least for me, I thought they were much lower. I mean, I was leaving blockers. I wasn't running off the back of the board with any of these bags, which actually ended up being a good thing. To me, it just it wasn't a six. I put it more in a four and a half to maybe five range. So I did some digging into this because he, you know, he was telling me this. This is how he felt. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I feel they're that slow. But, I mean, so these are the same exact materials as a Lucky Pro Sniper. And if you look back, we did a video. And those were fast. Lucky, and me. he was complaining the whole time it was fast. So it's a break-in method, right? Maybe whatever Eddie's doing to those bags is different than what I did. And he got all the wax off the back or something. I mean, they still. They, they, they have a softer, you know, feel than the, yeah. than the snipers so, did. So. I don't know. I mean, I even went to the extent of running these down the ramp side by side with the pro snipers and the pro snipers were a little bit faster, but not, you know, nothing significant or like super noticeable. Yeah. I mean, again, take it with a grain of salt. I mean, I, I'm an average thrower. I'm not super consistent, but I don't think I'm that inconsistent. We'll touch on the materials on these bags. Uh, So both the fast sides are the pro sniper Viper fast side where it's different is the, you know, wear ties. It does have that variant hybrid carpet. I truly believe this is the slowest out of the the hybrid carpets, right? Because you have three yeah. main ones. You got the R carpet, you got this variant, and then you got the other variant. Yeah. Like you'll find on like the shadow. It's it's definitely slower than the shadow. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I, I I truly feel that once these are broken in, this is a consistent five speed on that. Like I said before, the Tempest. I mean, that's a pro sniper clone, so you're you're probably familiar with that slow side. Template on these, you know, we're medium on the Tempest, and the you know medium, maybe medium large on the winter tides. They are slightly bigger than the Tempest. They're pretty big. Floppy, thin bag. Yep. They actually weigh a little bit less than the Tempest 2. Not by much, but a bigger template and a little bit less weight. Right. The fills are different, so that plays a lot into it. But th- this is going to be a larger, floppier bag for you, especially compared to the Tempest. The magmanship on these bags, it's exceptional. It's actually pretty darn impressive yeah, absolutely. that these are sewn by hand. Different size bags, too. You know, yep. He's yep. sewing different series, different sizes. And uh, I don't see any flaws on it. His closing seam, I mean, that's one of the yeah, it's at the smallest, highest closing seams you've ever seen. That's that's impressive. And it's, it's supposedly he's doing this by hand, too. Yeah, I mean, if that's the case, I mean, that's impressive. I mean, we've, you know, but we've seen that. I mean, it seems like some of these, you know, smaller guys that are really trying to, you know, get going, it, it, you, you can almost see the, the pride in the bags and just the quality of them. And you see that here with Sub Zero. It's the difference between a mom and pa shop and, you know, a big box yeah. hardware store. Yeah. So. yeah. One's out for profit, one's out to uh, make a good product. Yeah. All right, getting into the uh, slide up. First, I want to talk about forgiveness. Both these bags are very forgiving. You know, these have, you know, this is my favorite carpet on a bag. Uh, it's it's the same as the sauce, if, if I'm uh, right, which is one of my favorite bags. To me, in, in the way I throw, this is the most forgiving carpet, for me at least. Um, probably because it's a little slower. You know, I don't get as big of movement when I don't want it. And the Tempest kind of, you know, fall right in line. I didn't, nothing unexpected happened. I was able to keep control of the bag. And- forgiveness, I mean, like we said, with the, you know, flat disc and the flat disc blend or whatever, these bags are going to hit the board and they're yeah. going to lay out flat and run pretty true. 
I haven't heard of too many people doing fancy shots with either one of these bags. I'm sure people can, but yeah. I, I don't think that's what they're made for. Now we'll jump us right into the whole bodiness on them. And I'm, I'm going to give the Tempest a slight edge over to Wintertide for whole bodiness. And I just feel that that's only because of the speed. Yeah. You'd think the opposite. You'd think the big floppy bag is going to have more whole bodiness. But those Tempests, I mean, they... <laughs> They yeah. drain right in that hole. They really do. Yeah, when they got near the hole, they slinkied right in. Uh -huh. No issues whatsoever. Winter tides did great as well. And then the collectability on them, I'm also going to give the slight edge to the Tempest on collectability. I, I, I feel that a smaller, fuller bag is going to collect better than a larger, floppier bag. It just seems to grab the other bag a little bit more instead of, you know, sometimes like a Winter Tide. It, it, if it, you hit your own bag, it might just kind of fold out of the way and go around it. Yeah. Which actually has perks though too. And you know, if someone lays a blocker on you, you're going to be able to get around that bag pretty right, easy with right. that winter tide. I think that has a lot to do with maybe where the beads, you know, are kind of sitting in the bag. You know, if one corner doesn't have a lot of beads in it, and that's where you hit, you're, you're not going to grab it and take it with you. So I agree. Uh, I, I mean, I was collecting them both without too much issue, but the Tempest, I ended up flipping over to the fast side a little more, and you know, I didn't have any issues. I was collecting them. You know, as expected. Speed consistency. The Tempest was very consistent. Well, no, I think it's going to be affected by humidity. Too. It is going to be affected by humidity. We haven't thrown in humidity yet. So, mm -hmm. um, because it's a non carpet, it's, you know, your traditional, you know, material on there, it's going to slow down more. So, you know, once the weather gets better, we're playing outside more, playing in the dew, we're going to get a better idea of what they're doing. But in a controlled environment, they were very consistent the whole time. Both bags were, you know. Yeah, and then the winter tide. I mean, we're familiar with that carpet. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be affected by humidity or anything. No, that's I played. I've played that carpet a different bag, but I played that carpet in the rain before yeah. and still slide them up in a hole. So I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you, that is a consistent five-speed carpet. It is. It really is. Yeah. Capable shots on these bags. We kind of touched on it earlier. I mean, there's not a whole lot to talk about the Tempest, especially. You're just going hole for hole with that bag. Yeah. The winter tide. It, you're going to be able to cut it a little bit. Set up blockers. It's, it's going to be more of the dirty bag game out of the two, I would say. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I was putting blockers up with the Tempest. The winter tides, you know, I can cut those. Again, I'm very familiar with that carpet, so I, I can control that shot when needed, and I had no problems doing it. So uh, final thoughts. Um, I, th I think we were agreeing on a three, right? I'm giving them both of them a three bagger yeah. for overall rating, yeah, for sure. I, I agree as well. And one thing I didn't mention earlier in the video is the winter tide. Like the uh, the Wolverines and stuff, for some reason, they just feel good in my hand. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know why. Like, I just, you know, the, they're floppy, but they're not too floppy, mm -hmm. which they're, like, right on that line for me so I can still comfortably throw these. Yeah, and the, so the problem is, is that, you know, with our group that we play with a lot, you know, I'm always like, yeah, every bag's for sale. Every bag's for sale. <laughs> right. Well, now people want to buy these bags. Yeah, and I'm they like, do. Yeah. oh, man, I don't know because I kind of want to keep a hold of these. Yeah, yeah. So I'll see how long I can fend them off. So will these bags make you better? <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, straight up, the Tempest, it, whatever he done with the yeah, material combination and the fill, I mean, that is a great bag. But you're definitely going to be able to throw that bag easily yeah. and straight. Yep, yep. And then the Winter Tides also, I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to have to make you better, I would think, especially if you're not used to throwing that carpet. Maybe let's say there's someone that hasn't tried hybrid carpet. This would be a great bag for them I to agree. try because yeah. it's such an easy hybrid carpet it to is. throw. Yeah. So clearly that's going to make them better. Yeah. And that's probably why that's my favorite carpet variant is because it's so easy to throw. Yeah. You know, it's more forgiving. I don't struggle or, you know, put up those zero rounds that I'm known to do. It's hard to say, you know, will they make you better? It's subjective. But we think that, that these are ones that might. There's reasons why this will make your game better. Yes. You'll say that. Right, right. They're not going to hurt you. Are the bags worth the cost? Yes. <laughs> I yeah. wish they were a little bit cheaper, obviously. Yeah. And then, you know, there is ways to save 5% off, and we'll, we'll list some codes. But 5%, you know, a lot of the other guys are doing 10%. So, right, right. I, you know, a little extra 5% might not be a bad thing. Maybe not, you know. But you got to give it to them if it really is still just one guy making these bags. It's, his margins are probably a little tighter, probably harder for him to get those bit bigger discounts. I do think they're worth the cost. I agree. Cheaper is always better. But they're under a $100 mark. You know, the personal touch, you know, with the with the purchase I made is makes me feel a lot better about you know, spending money <laughs> yeah. on it. And then, you know, just overall, these are great quality bags. So Yeah, uh, you won't be disappointed with the purchase. You won't. You won't.
Yeah. So at the end, we both believe they're worth the cost. I think you got the gist now. We recommend these bags yeah. for sure. If that's your style, if a fast bag is your style, if you like a pro sniper and you never really ventured out, maybe try the Tempest because it's the same fabric combinations, maybe a different template in a little bit, a little bit fuller. Uh, you might really like that. And then the winter time, I mean, the winter time is picking up a bunch of steam right it now. It is. It is. Yeah. Actually, as we're recording this, uh, the big ass podcast has their best of the bags for 2024 both of these bags made the finals in yeah. the bracket the winter time is in the finals for the hybrid and the tempest is in the finals for the fast bag that's pretty impressive i mean there's bg lucky ultra you know cs yeah some of those are out but yeah. sub zero is in two of the three finals i also absolutely recommend these bags if you watched our, the video that we did on the lucky pro snipers this is a clone of it you could tell just between our two videos, I greatly favored these. Uh, I played a lot better with these. They felt slower to me. I was able to keep them on the board versus the, the pro snipers. I was just running. If I didn't hit the hole, it was gone. Like there was no <laughs> one pointers for me that day with those bags. These, you know, all day long, I was blocking with them. I couldn't block with the pro snipers. So if you're in the market for this type of bag, definitely take a look at these before you make a decision. Yes, yeah, so we just want to end up with uh, everybody's average of something. So if you're going to be average, may as well be average of cornhole. See you next time.